This project encourages you to tap into your experiences of rivers and river valleys. In the example, a river and river valley are seen from above. The river has sandy edges and grassy banks. Bridges are one way that human beings have used for thousands of years to cross safely from one side of rivers to the other. Adding a bridge to a river picture can be easily done by cutting a narrow strip of cardstock slightly longer than the river picture. This river picture is six and a half inches long and the bridge is eight inches long. Real bridges are built with all kinds of materials. This one is made to look like cobblestones. The bridge can be attached by gluing it at each end of the river picture. Gluing the bridge means it stays fixed in this position. For a bridge that can be flattened for storage or to send to someone, an adult can cut two slits at each end of the river picture, about half an inch or one centimeter from the edge of the card and about one centimeter or half an inch apart. Be sure that the slits are slightly longer than the width of the bridge. To install the bridge, guide the ends of the bridge under the strip of paper at each end of the river picture and push the ends even with the cardstock. Some people like to put a fold right here in the bridge. It's not necessary but it is a design option for you as the artist. To flatten the bridge, just gently pull the ends or push down on the center of the bridge. It's important to decide at the very beginning if you'll use this method for installing your bridge because deciding after the river picture and bridge are done will result in a strip of the river picture crossing over each end of the bridge. Those strips can be camouflaged with some advanced planning. Use your bridge as a guide to make very light marks on the strip of paper between the slits at each end of your river picture, exactly as wide as your bridge. And when you're doing your river picture, leave that marked off area blank on each of those strips. Then. Do your bridge completely and then do those strips to match your bridge. For example, the bridge that goes with this river picture is wooden. Therefore, the strips that were measured out are done to match the bridge instead of to match the river picture. That way, when the bridge is installed, those strips are indeed camouflaged. This river picture is of a river valley that has biking or pedestrian paths along each side of the river and a traffic bridge to go over top. On the other side of this river picture is another river picture. This is the earth seen from a great height with a mighty river flowing across the surface of the earth and wind currents in the sky with big puffy white clouds. By now you will have predicted what the bridge will be like. Everyone's river picture and everyone's bridge will be different because everyone's experience is different and everyone's imagination is different. You're the artist and you get to decide.